Joining us now is Sebastian Redler, Deutsche Bank Head of European Equity Strategy. Great to have you with us. So over the next six months, you see the stock 600 pretty much flat. That doesn't sound too interesting, but you've got some interesting overweights and underweights. What are you overweight? Um, so we've seen the biggest story so far in Europe was a sharp deceleration in growth momentum. Banks underperforming very sharply, autos underperforming, value stocks underperforming growth stocks. We think this trend is coming to an end right now. We think growth momentum is going to pick up and it's going to benefit exactly these victims of the slowdown that we've seen so far. So we're overweight banks, overweight insurance, overweight autos. You're also quite positive on miners. Is that to do with your expectations for China? Yeah, it's got two reasons. The main driver of the mining sector is copper. Copper is down 20%. There's a lot of negativity there. Why has copper fallen? Because the dollar has risen by 9% and Chinese growth has decelerated. Again, we think that these are two trends that are at a turning point. We see downside for the dollar over the coming months, upside for the China PMI, which is a really a non-consensus call. Together, these yeah. two developments would help copper, would help mining. It's a breath of sunshine on a Friday here at the end of, of <laughs> August. Sebastian, when you hard. look at this, this optimism, and uh, granted your purview is Europe, the backdrop is you've got EM contagion. When you meet with Alan Ruskin, when you meet with Dominic Constum, when you meet with George Cervelis, how do you distill EM contagion worries into your optimistic equity view? That's a, that's a great uh, question, Tom. And in my view and in our view, the main reason for these idiosyncratic troubles that you've seen this year is dollar strength. Look at the emerging markets over the last 20 years. There's one main driver, which is the dollar. In a period of dollar weakness, like you saw last year, um, where the dollar dropped by 9%, life is sweet and easy for the emerging markets. It's when the dollar strengthens that the pressure is on. Yeah. So if we believe the dollar is going to weaken slightly over the coming months, life is going to get easier for the emerging market assets.